watch and learn. See, Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles, the relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important. form of the thing. Hang on. <laughs> I smell trouble. Hey, Bob! creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to Anokin. But Sindri had never had it, said a two But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. <sighs> Are you nervous? It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way, let me look. Oh, fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. <laughs> He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Mm, back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are.
Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. No, oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to nature. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. final ingredient, the blood of a god. Give her your hand. Your almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh. Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. Speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck! Fuck! Damn it! 
it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb! It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. If the guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take him. die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. 
Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Ah, oh, lick my face! There's eyeballness all over! Get your throwing arm in here! the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No. I bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. There, watch him. Get a decent angle and fling the spear into it head on.
handle with those puppies. You want it straight on. Good! Guess you get extra credit. That was one of Neethold's children. But I don't yet have the equipment to restrain the little bugger. Don't be a waste of capture. I wonder if that squirrel outside Sindri's house has any ideas. <clears throat> ah, that's blocked. with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. very well maybe those grim will take you there
enough heart pumping for me today. You pick up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. I see a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go? Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You're sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know 
of godhood. In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Carefully, brother. So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could <clears throat> say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, the war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the giants had you in mind all along. <clears throat> Hmm. So this drop near spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone is a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. Hey, big guy!
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, I just need to find a way still to get the plan. To him. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Do you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. To <laughs> think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Dude, hey. It's true. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Atreus, see you later. Throod. Bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. down in this library. What are you going on about? I just don't get it. The mask, bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? First giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide? Smother a storm? He was more, a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? 
What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift, possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, hold, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lao should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mere said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Through it. Too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. Now, as much as I would love to babysit, I have something else to do for the Allfather. If you run into any trouble, just scream so I know where to find your bodies. Let's find that mask piece. Finally, I can test my skills alongside the real Valkyrie expert. First off, Hellwalkers are nothing compared to Valkyries. Second, I thought you didn't believe me. Hellwalkers, here's your chance. believe it was grandfather who corrupted them or that he caused the desolation in Midgard or that he had all the giants killed am I missing anything uh lots actually to watch? No way! Wow, he's really good. You want some of it? I gotta say, I don't think these warriors are very hard to beat. Careful, Loki! Yapa! Well, 
What other heinous crimes has my grandfather committed? Let's see. He decimated Vanaheim, tortured Tyr, murdered Groa, murdered Amir. It goes on and on. Interesting. And where'd you hear all this? Freya and Amir told me. Oh, so his traitorous ex-wife and a bitter former advisor. Got it. Look, you don't believe me, but... No, I don't. Either you're full of crap or you're a hypocrite for helping him. Can we just focus on the mission? Dead end. This is where the mask said to go? What's it say? Let's double back. We'll find a way around. Yaffa! See? More Hellwalkers! That means we're headed the right way! Ah! <laughs> 